there's just endless ways to make them. And so one of the reasons why I started cutting out my templates onto muslin is because I have used it as a backing for my strip pieces. So if you take your pattern out of the pattern and, or you take your template rather, out of your pattern and you trace it out on some cheap inexpensive muslin and then you don't have to write the letters on there um, for this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you on ones that I have already written on. So ignore that part. When you do this, just cut two pieces of muslin out and then don't write on it. And so what you can do is you can take strips and actually sew it to the muslin. And so you'll wanna make two of the bare backs and two of the bare fronts so that you can make mirror images of both of them and then you can sew on them. And so you can actually sew this way and what you'll do is you'll actually just put your fabric right on your bear and then you'll stitch a quarter of an inch right through all three layers and then you'll be able to fold it over and then you'll have a nice clean edge and then you'll do the same thing over here then you'll sew another one to this side on this side sew a quarter inch and then fold it this way and you can of course it would probably be funner i know that's not a word but i love it um it would probably be funner if you cut your strips in half and made them smaller or even random sizes if you did one two and a half one one inch one two inch and then just sewed all different strips on there you can certainly do that you can sew them the other direction you can sew them right down the middle and then attach a piece right next to it. So you just put it good size, stitch right there and then sew. And you don't have to, um, you can just ignore the open spaces. What I would do is probably just sew it about um, this far off all the way across and then the same thing, just give yourself an, an extra inch or so on the bottom and the top and then you can just flip it over and then cut around the, the piece, cut around your muslin piece. Um, so, and then one of the other fun things that you can do is make a um, crazy quilt. So I started making crazy quilts back when I first started quilting. I loved them because there were absolutely no rules and I could do whatever I wanted and I love that feeling. So, what you would do to do a crazy one is just cut yourself a random piece and it can even be like totally random it could just be a scrap piece and you can put that right in the center and then you can do the same thing over here and so then what you'll do is you'll put it good side to good side and then you'll stitch it right there or anywhere and then it'll look like that and then you'll take your next piece and then let's say we just cut this piece in half. All jaggedy like, it's not perfect. And then we'll set it right here and we'll stitch. Well, actually that's not true. <laughs> we'll set it that direction. And you'll make a stitch, just making sure that you catch all the pieces. And then you'll fold it over and you'll press it. And then you can just keep doing that over and over and over again just keep placing pieces as long as you catch all of your edges just keep making here let me get a different color for just so that you get the general idea here all right so the other way and so we'll once you get that and you can pick it up and trim it and then um, put it down sew it and then fold it over Okay, so I'm going to make a little piece to show you, and then you'll know how to make a crazy bear. What we will do is, like I said, you'll just cut out your template. Just pretend like this writing's not here. Or if you want to, <laughs> if you want to write on it and then decide you don't want to do that, then you can do that. All right, so what we're going to do is... We're going to stitch and the quarter inch doesn't have to be the perfect either. That's, I think that's one of the things that I just love the most about crazy stuff is it's literally crazy. 
and then you just trim off the extra so that you have a, a rough start for the for the next side all right and now let's see let's use a different color so now we're going to put this good side to good side and then we're going to stitch all right and I would normally press it in between, but for video's sake, I am not going to. And now, let's see. So see, we have this here. So you could set it like that and just catch that part, or you could trim this one off if you wanna make it more straight. You could just trim it off, just with scissors, and then you can put that there. This is a great thing to do with clothing and or your favorite fabric collection. So now let's see. So now let's go this direction. So actually I think that's already sewn down just a little bit. So we'll just leave it there. And so I'm going to start kind of over here so it's going to go that direction. And then we're going to fold it over. So see now we have the edge of the bear. So when we trim it out, we're just going to make sure you want to go over your template in all the areas so that you make sure you have enough to trim. And so what you'll do then is you'll just turn it over and then trim off all the extra. All right, so let's just keep going a couple of more, couple more pieces. And so you can do it right here. You can add it right here. I'd probably want to do a little bit bigger one that goes over my seam just a little bit more. Or you could go this direction, or you could go this direction. You can, let's do, let's do this big navy one. Let's go here. Let's go this away. And see, then you have that piece. And so you can leave it big or you could go real small over it next to it and then you could just trim that off and then use that piece again. So let me show you what I mean by that. All right, so then you can just put it right over the top of it. And when I am doing any of my piecing, I always have a TV tray next to me. The camera's on it right now. But, oh, you know what? I did that backwards. <laughs> That's okay. So we're going to stick that seam ripper in there. Rip that right off there. And um, so what I started to say before I realized I'm a ding-dong is um, I keep a TV tray next to me, um, and then I can press each time. And then... Um, so what you'll do is you will put it this away like that. And so that's how I want it. I don't know. Did I have it like that a minute ago? Gosh, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I don't think I did. All right. So let's go this way. Okay. So now, now that doesn't seem like it's going to be right, but it is. It totally is right. So now you can just take this, don't cut into your template, and then trim that all. You can just trim it all jaggedy, and then stitch right over, and then you have this piece for later. And so you can put that right there, uh, or right there. And so you can just keep going and going and going. You don't need any lines or anything like that. And then you can just keep making your, um, your crazy bear. So I'll keep working on this. And so you're going to make four of these. You're going to make, you know, obviously the two fronts, the mirror images, and then the two backs. So it might take you a few minutes, but it'll be super cute when you're finished with it.